Hi, I'm Lynn. Welcome to my Urban Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make lentil soup. I feel like when I talk to people about making soup from scratch, they say, oh my god, that's so hard. How do you make your own soup? Well, this is a great soup to start if you've never really made soup before because it is super easy and just a few ingredients. So all you need is some garlic, about two tablespoons of uh, grated garlic. And frankly, you can use more or less depending on if you like garlic. It's a great thing about this soup, you can mix it up. And this is about two tablespoons of grated ginger. And I wanted to show you something quick. This is called a microplaner. And I highly recommend you get one if you work with ginger at all. Because what it does is, I just um, took some of the skin off with a paring knife but what it does is it enables you to separate what can be like rough fibers that are in the ginger from like the really nice light ginger so that you don't get big chunks of ginger in your soup. I kind of personally I like it more pureed so I do that. And then for an onion this is just one chopped onion which you can do with your hands or you can just put it in the food processor. Again that could take a little bit of time off. And aside from that you just need uh, about five cups of chicken stock and some salt and pepper. So that's it. So let's get started. So all you want to do at first is you just want to coat the bottom of the pan with some canola oil and just put this on like medium high. Now you can also use butter, um, but if you use butter you should probably use a little bit of oil along with it to keep the butter from burning. So you're just going to throw in your onions and it's about a teaspoon of salt but again you could just start off by putting in a little bit and then taste it later on as you go. Um, yes I'm probably only one of the few people that have a grater for their salt but it was a gift and I love it so I use it. So what you're going to do is you're just going to saute this for about 10 minutes. Okay, so you'll start to see that the, uh, the onions are getting translucent. Um, if you don't know what that means, keep a little piece of fresh onion on the side so you can compare. It's really white when you first cut it, but in, as it cooks it gets a little bit translucent. So all you want to do now is you want to add your garlic and add your ginger. And just kind of let, you can smell it, it's so amazing, but just kind of let the garlic and the ginger cook for I'd say just a minute or two just until all those fragrances get in there. You don't want the garlic to burn so don't let it cook for too long. If you start to see it turn brown then you should move along to the next step which is putting in your lentils. So I have a couple different lentils here. These are green lentils and French lentils. I like the French lentils the best but you know, whatever you have in the house is fine. So then you just want to get the lentils combined with the wonderful garlic and ginger and onions. So you do this before you add any of the stock. And again, just a minute or so is totally fine. This recipe doubles really well. so. Uh, you can just do whatever I'm doing and double it and it would make even more for your family and to last for the whole week. So this looks nice, it's smelling fantastic, so now we can add our chicken stock. And the only remaining ingredient is some pepper. About a half a teaspoon but again if you like pepper put more and if you don't put less. Just stir everything in. Turn it down to simmer and it's going to take about a half hour to cook and again you can choose whether you want a little bit more soupy or a little bit more stew like. I kind of like it with a little less broth because to be honest you can always add a little bit more water when if you, you heat it back up it feels too thick so I kind of tend to like to let it cook down to more of a stew. So that is all there is to it people. So 
So it looks like our lentil soup is ready. But of course, the only way to know for sure is to try it. And what you want is a soft consistency to the lentils, but not mushy. So let's see. Mm, perfect. So a couple of little last minute tips. Um, if you're cooking and you find that the, it's, the broth is thinning out a bit too much, you can always just put in a little bit more chicken stock later. Um, I think that will that will come in handy as a little tip. And so let's just ladle some out. And there we go, lentil soup. Simple, lasts you all week. Enjoy.